Hey guys and welcome to a new video on this channel. I'm Sabi from Code Revolution. So big announcement today. Headless browser API is finished. So it is ready for you guys to check it. And I worked very, very hard on this lately. And it is actually finished now and ready for rolling out. So I already updated my plugins and they are fully working now with this. So let me demonstrate its features and how you can use this new API that I created. So its link will be in this video's description. Go ahead guys and check it. So this is its main page. I will not emphasize on it right now. All I do is go to documentation and check its documentation. So this is an example API node that it publishes. And as you can see, its functionality is really, really straightforward and simple. You should enter your API key and URL in the URL parameters and the API will respond with the rendered HTML content uh, in its response. So the JavaScript rendered HTML content will come back to you guys. So if uh, you have some experience with scraping, you know that the JavaScript uh, rendered content is usually not available for basic scrapers. However, with this API, you will get the JavaScript rendered content back to you in seconds. Okay, so here you will see its full documentation. So the API's full documentation can be found here. But now let me go ahead and check Crawlomatic because I already updated Crawlomatic and some other plugins that I created, Echo RSS feed importer is also updated and ready to use the a headless browser API. Also, other plugins should come soon and join the ranks of plugins that can use this new API to render JavaScript and to import it to your scrape pages. Also, something that I already almost forgot is that this new API is also able to execute Tor headless browser and to scrape onion links. So if you have some onion links that you want to scrape from the dark web, this API will also enable you this and you will be able to do dark web scraping also by simply calling the API and adding here in the URL parameter the dark web onion link that you wish to scrape and the plugin will get back its fully rendered HTML. Okay. So now let's get back to Crawlomatic and check how it will work with this API. So first thing in its main settings, you will see that it will have a new settings field, Headless Browser API key. So here you will be able to add your API key for Headless Browser API. And if you check uh, the link that goes from here, you will see that Headless Browser API will allow you to sign up. So if we go to pricing, you will be able to sign up to 100 API requests per day, 250 or 500. Or if you want a custom plan, contact me at this email address. So after you sign up, you will get a API key from me and from this API that can be used in the headless browser API key settings field in my plugins that support this uh, new API. So also Newsomatic should join the ranks of the plugins that support headless browser API soon. So keep up with updates and stay subscribed to this channel because I release the updates here and I will announce you guys here about uh, everything that will happen in the future with this new API. But now let's go back and start scraping an example site. So I have here uh, an article from CNET. So here it is, Elon Musk. Okay. And here are some Twitter tweets in it and stuff. So let's copy the URL, paste it here in the Crawlomatic Scraper Start Seed URL input field and click settings 
and you will see that here it is the content scraping method to use will be WordPress by default. So you can change this to Puppeteer Headless Browser API, Tor Headless Browser API or PhantomJS Headless Browser API. You can also use PhantomJS Puppeteer or Tor if they are installed on your server. However, if you don't know how to install them and you don't know how to configure them, then Headless Browser API will be a very easy alternative for you because it will work out of the box. So simply click Headless Browser API after you added the API key in the main settings and all you have to do is run importing. However, let me run importing first with WordPress to see the difference that comes in content. So let me select here and get the class that I want to import. So this is the class that I want to import because it includes the entire article that I want to scrape. And now let's go back to settings and uh, in the content query type let's select class and paste here the class that I want to scrape from the article. Okay so keep in mind that now we are using the WordPress default method so right now I am not using headless browser API. So let's run importing and importing is already finished. Let's check our site and here it is the Elon Musk article. And as you can see the content is here but the Twitter embeds are visible only like this. They are not actually Twitter embeds but only some text. Also here at the bottom there are some weird stuff. Okay, so we can get around this by using Headless Browser API. So now let's select here Puppeteer Headless Browser API and save settings. Let's delete the old post that I created and let's run importing again. So now the plugin will use Headless Browser API to render the content from the CNET uh, web page and it will get the JavaScript rendered content to the plugin back without actually any doing anything else. So this is the great thing that will enable you to do the headless browser API. So as you can see scraping now takes a bit longer because the puppeteer API is actually rendering the page and loading it and sending it back to my WordPress site and to the Crawlomatic plugin. But importing finished. Now all we have to do is refresh here the article and scroll down here. We will see that lazy loaded images are also visible and Twitter embeds are also loading now. So you will be able to see that things will look much better when using the API versus when you use the simple scraping, the simple WordPress scraping method. So the Twitter embeds are actually visible now and things will look much better. So yeah, this is uh, everything for today. Keep in mind that you can use starting from now Headless Browser API to render JavaScript on your pages and all I have to do is say thank you for watching this video until then. Please subscribe for updates and new stuff that I release because I will announce here on my YouTube channel. And until next time, have a nice day, stay safe, bye bye.